All right, what's happening here today? Well, we're having a, a perimeter fence put up. So uh, you can see where the guys um, are placing this on the property line. Uh, it goes all the way down to uh, to the road. That's that's the start of our property on the on the west side. Come see, and the property line is really jig jaggedy. Um, I'm not sure how that happened. These Mahomes have been here since 1917, so <clears throat> whoever divided it back then, that's this is what they did. And uh, so it goes boom, boom, boom. Then it comes down here, and it heads straight down towards the creek bottom. And there is a spring right over here. And then, of course, then it cuts across and goes over to my neighbor on the east side to his uh, fence. So that's the that's the property line. So we're going to do a mix of uh, barbed wire and hog wire, uh, hog wire in the lower portion, because I've got you know we got a lot of dogs that just run loose out here, uh, goat herds. I've I don't I can't tell you how many times I've run goat herds off from around my pool because <laughs> I have no front wall. So uh, this will assist with that. Um, I still got to get that front wall put in at some point. But this will keep uh, a lot of the dogs and the and the goats and and cattle, because uh, cattle just kind of. I'm not sure who all the cows even belong to. They just kind of roam around here and eat. Um, we used to call that free range. It's kind of what we got here. Um, of course, this will only be a partial enclosure. I've, I, without that front wall, um, I won't be able to. Um, keep them out completely but that's that's coming someday and i'll let you know when that happens so that's what's happening here today uh hog wire in the bottom and then barbed wire up at the top of the uh, concrete post and um for those of y'all that are curious uh I've, well i need to figure out how many linear feet because it also does go across the front of the property here up to the end of our uh, perimeter wall around the house so it will enclose in all the rest of our property um, the only opening now will be this steps here um, that go to the pool and that lead to the front which is wide open it's finished love it uh, the guys have got to come back uh, i'm actually going to utilize their services on the front wall uh, of the property they gave me the best best bid by a mile um, i've already seen their uh, quality of work and i'm pleased with it so um yeah it's alejandro's uh fencing is uh, uh the name of the company and they're out of tarlock so we'll try to include the contact information uh, fernan is the guy that i i actually talked to and a uh, super nice guy very professional uh, they also were very respectful, just like the solar guys. They actually stayed up under. They set their tents up underneath this uh, big mango tree on our property. And it's, it's kind of like they camped out. I mean, you know, they had a, they had a little bonfire. They cooked their meals there. Uh, we told them they could use our outdoor shower, uh, our, our guest CR if they needed it. And they were here for about four days um, putting up this perimeter fence. And we went with concrete posts. Um, you know, those of you from the United States, this is going to look pretty rough to you. But this is what they this is what they use. These concrete posts are not the prettiest, uh, but they're pretty durable. Uh, they they did put them into a couple of feet into the two or three feet into the ground, and then they cemented them. And then I went. I wanted uh, barbed wire. They did it at the bottom, and they did it at the top, and then they did a hog wire in between. Because I'm trying to keep. Um, a lot of everybody's dogs here roam free and I'm, I'm just an American and I believe in keeping my dog in my property and keeping other animals out uh, so that's what I'm going for um, but they're gonna have to come back because I did find a, uh, it's a pretty it's a long fence so there's some areas where the neighborhood dogs uh, are able to get into the property uh, very easily actually so they're gonna fix that when they come to work on the, the front wall which should be in a couple of weeks. Um, and then once I've got all this secured and so forth, we're, we're, we are planning on getting us a dog. Um, any of y'all know of 
a good source to get. I'd like to maybe get a Belgian hound or a pit bull, um, you know, something along those lines that uh, be a good family. Uh, it's kind of a security dog, I guess you could say. Won't be living in the house, and we've got plenty of property for them to live on and uh, live in, run around on. So if you know of anybody, let me know. Um, I'm, I'm having a little trouble finding places to get uh, get a good dog. And then we want to get some training. I, I've located a couple of training places in the, I think the Angelise Clark area that we might try to utilize. Uh, but here's the fence. Starts over here at our um, uh, wall on the prop on the, around the house. And that's actually our little gate right there. We've got a, it's big enough to get a vehicle in here if we needed to for any reason. And uh, this is the the perimeter fence itself and it goes back over i'm not going to walk the whole thing because it's pretty long um and it's just all looks the same but i wanted you to see the construction uh, it goes to that corner over there and then it comes here there there and then it goes down and it goes down to that creek bottom and then it goes back across the property uh, but you see how they've on all these corners anywhere that there could possibly be some movement from the wire They've, they've secured those with additional concrete posts. Um, the hog wire they use here, very thin. Not used to seeing it this thin. Does bend very easily. Um, which, you know, it's the, the sad part of that is eventually it, it probably won't look real good uh, as, you know, goats hit it and things try to climb it. Maybe a cow or two run into it, who knows? <laughs> But uh, it is serving the purpose, and maybe one day, years down the road, as funds allow, uh, I can come in and put some tubular piping and paint it and make it look real nice. Uh, that, that's really my plan in the future. Right now, I just want to secure the property, and uh, this does it. Uh, I paid $74,000, pesos. Uh, for everything that's the materials labor uh, the works and uh, uh, a very professional crew so again another another strong endorsement I'm just wanted to get you over here and you kind of see uh, where it is in the back there that our little mango grove this goes down into a creek bottom We've got a natural spring down there um, really good water but this is my property. The, my neighbor on the east side already has a fence, so we left that alone. And yes, my property is very overgrown at the moment. Um, any of y'all know anyone up in the Nueva Ecija area that does brush cutting? I could use them. I, my brush, I loaned my brush cutter out and it came back not working. And I'm trying to fix it myself because I don't really know where to take it here. Um, so I'm working on that. I've ordered a fuel, a couple fuel lines from Lazada. Should be here this week, this coming week, and uh, see if that doesn't uh, resolve. It'll start. It just won't. It, when you go to to do the throttle, it won't. Uh, the motor won't accelerate enough to turn the twine. So these are very thick, 10 millimeter glass, safety glass, and um, minimal. Minimal metal involved. We, I went with the stainless, but you have options. Uh, black, I believe, and then uh, gold. Um, but it's it's what they call a frameless enclosure. And I uh, I did the swing. They're a little bit cheaper. Uh, if you do sliding, we had sliding in our house in Cavite. Uh, it's a little bit more money. Um, wasn't really needed here. Uh, the, the swing works just fine. Uh, so I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about the company that I ended up going with. Uh, they are called Infinity Exquisite Window Blinds and Glass Training. They're out of Mexico, Pampanga, which is not too far from Angeles, those of you that are in the central Luzon area. Um, very quick, after the ocular inspection, um, the guy called in the measurements, they gave me the quote over the phone. I thought it was very fair. and. Uh, I gave them the 50% down. Listen, if you're doing things off marketplace, some of these folks will try to get more, try to do 60%, 70%. Don't do it. 50% maximum. Uh, and then when the, the product's delivered, it's installed, everything's working good, 
then you go ahead and release those additional 50%. That is really how it should be done here. But you know, people try to get, sometimes they try to get a little bit more up front. I don't know why. Everybody I've had do work for me has always seemed to be very reputable and take care of their business, but uh, protects me, protects them. They get enough money to get their materials together and get the job going. And uh, anyway, that's what we've done. I've, I have found um, all of our extra work off of the marketplace. So that's where I do. Like I said, you gotta be, gotta be diligent with your questions and uh, don't be afraid to ask. If you, if you get an, an, an uneasy feeling, then it's probably not the company for you. Uh, keep looking. Um, but here they're doing the hall bath, and this is gonna be a real simple, this is a typical CR here, where you got a sink and a toilet, and then uh, the shower itself. So this will be a very simple enclosure with a swing door that goes to the inside. And then the CR in the master bathroom, little bit different it's what they call an L shape and uh, also has a swing door but it will have a piece of glass that comes out here between the shower head and the sink another piece of glass and then there'll be a door here that I actually swing out to the left um, so that's how that will work and you can see how thick this glass is really 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 thick hey guys just wanted to show you the finished product um, shower installer installers finished up about oh maybe about two hours ago and um, yeah I think it turned out great they uh, once they got to putting this together they found out that because of the length of it and and so forth they needed to put this extra support it's a frameless shower but they they just felt like this was a good idea and i agreed uh, they actually built that on the spot they the guys did a good job they they just knocked it out and really pleased with it quite beautiful actually decided to go with the door swinging in instead of out it was going to swing out this way but just too much going on over here. We decided to go in with it. It's big enough that it can swing in with no problem. So let's go look at the other one. Okay, I wanted to show you a quick shot of the hall bathroom. Uh, because of the way the tile's done in this bathroom, it only goes up about halfway up the wall. They had to do some extra supports on the side to give the glass plenty of stability, but you can see that this is also a swing type door. Very nice, beautiful actually. Should do a good job of keeping the water off of everything in here. So I uh, wanted to just introduce you to their representative uh, from Gimba Venetian Blinds. Gimba Venetian Blinds representative were located at Gimba Nueva Ecija, Pasong Lincheck. Uh, beside old barangay hall building, we are the direct sellers, uh, fabricators as well. And what else besides, these are the, these are the Korean, we, we're going to show you some of them. These are what they call Korean? Korean combi blanks. Combi blanks. Yes. But you sell other things. What uh, are some of the other items that you have? Uh, PVC horizontal blinds. Mm -hmm. Uh, wood blinds, sir. Okay, wooden um, blinds, which way uh, a lot of uh, Americans yes, love. A uh, little pricier, I think, than these, but they do have them. If you, if that's if that's your preference, they, they can make them. Yeah. Uh, accordion doors for wood. like a partition type of yeah, par partition type okay. of division. Curtains. We also do have curtains. Okay, yes. good. So as you can see, they've got a little bit of everything that you could need for your window coverings. So if you're up here in the way I see you, Pangas and on. This is probably going to be one of the, the closest manufacturers you're going to find. And it's really cool to actually deal with the people who are making them. So, um, they right. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. So let's let's check out a couple of their blinds. Let's come over here and see how these babies work. So this is a very, very large opening. And it's also a walkway, as you can see. It's double sliding doors. You've got two stationary glass on either side. Um, and so what they did is they, to do one hole is, is way too long. 
So they, do they doubled it up, basically did two separate uh, shades for this. So they put my chains on the outside so they're not hanging down here in the walkway. And uh, yeah, so in the evening, we'll pull these puppies down. So this is the closed position. Yes, sir. If you wanted them down uh, during the, um, the daytime, you wanted to get some air in, I believe you can simply do that and it will allow some airflow through these uh, as well. Um, we did just a standard Venetian blind or shade for most of our windows. Uh, the master bedroom, we did a blackout version. So uh, it'll actually, because we get we got the evening sun uh, over on that side, it comes in pretty intense. So we did the blackout version of these uh, Korean combi blinds. So glad I got that right. Yeah, combi. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, give them a call. Jen will put the information up uh, to contact them. So uh, if, if this is something you need, something you're interested in, you're just, you're just looking into it, give them a call. Uh, give them a chance to, to do what's uh, best for you. And um, I, don't think you'll, uh, I don't think you'll regret it. Hey guys, lots going on here today. Just kind of wanted to bring y'all up to up to speed. We're getting internet installed. Uh, this is uh, this young man here is with CNE uh, Internet. Instalink. Yeah, Instalink. So here's the here's the interesting thing. We have a Converge pole right outside our house, but Converge says they can't give us internet because they, for whatever reason, even though they installed poles all the way down this road, they, they stopped their cable uh, down there by Argamosa Farms, which is maybe 300 meters down the road. So they're not sure when they're gonna get it down here to us. Uh, and since they were so unsure, we looked elsewhere. So we tried PLDT, uh, no go on PLDT. So then we uh, contacted C&E and Instalink is what they're seeing the Instalink and they they are going to be able to take care of us now the way we get internet here <clears throat> excuse me it's just like I got it in the Dominican the Dominican I had a dish on my house my house was up on the mountaintop and uh, they basically beamed I don't know if it was microwave or what kind of uh what kind of wave do y'all use to get the signal over is it microwave do you know uh, it's what? Rapid precept. Rapid? And, uh, this one is the LBE. LBE, okay. Light beam. Light beam. Mm. Okay, so there you go, light beam. But my one in Dominican was not. It was just a, a little metal dish and it was a microwave, I believe, which is pretty old school. But it worked, except for when it was raining. Uh, the village down below, Rio San Juan, had, had the tower and they just beamed it up to me and it was enough to get uh, get by, but it wasn't, uh, streaming was difficult to say the least. But this, however, um, we've already tested it and I was able to stream YouTube while Jim was watching Netflix on the TV. So that's about the most extent we'll ever pull out of the internet at one time. So we're pretty pleased with that. So we're gonna go ahead and get it installed today. They're working on that. Uh, you can see the dish, let me get, uh, so that's the dish, it's sitting on top of the pump room. Um, and then they're just gonna run the cable down over here into the house. Hope you guys are doing good wherever you're at. And uh, listen, kudos to Mrs. Baker. She got word this week that uh, the channel's being monetized. So um, super proud of her. She's put a lot of work into that. Honey, I'm I'm, I'm really proud. It, it's not, you know, a lot of big monet monetization because we, I think we have like 1.67, 1,670 subscribers. Uh, but you guys are, man, you're, you're watching the videos. Uh, you're watching. The, the things I guess that matter uh, the most are, you know, the, how long you watch. Uh, do you watch the advertisement? I don't know. I'm learning a little bit about YouTube, but um, the advertisements are important. Uh, do you just skip them every time or and how long do you you know do you 
fly through the video by just fast forwarding. All that stuff matters to YouTubers and as far as their monetization goes. Of course, it was watch hours that what, what got us to that point. I think we had to go over 4,000 watch hours. But we did it six months. I think that's pretty good. I know some of the YouTubers, they go, you know, super viral right off the start. Tens of thousands of subscribers, which I think is pretty cool. And I think the pandemic helped a lot with some of that because people just, you know, <laughs> nothing to do. Uh, watching a lot of uh, YouTube, but uh, we, we started this after uh, all the COVID lockdown junk. So a um, little more of a struggle, but we're there as far as uh, her um, gonna see a little bit of something for her efforts. Um, so just wanted to say thank you. Thank all of you. Uh, your questions, your comments on our videos, uh, super kind. I hope I try to respond to everybody. Uh, I hope my responses are helpful uh, to some degree. I don't know everything. I haven't experienced everything, but I have experienced a lot in the year and a half I've been here. Um, and, I'm, and I have no problem sharing my <laughs> failures and my successes. So uh, there's a little bit of both, I guess, in life. Yeah. All right, let you guys go. God bless you. Have a great day. The good. The bad. The Philippines.